Joshua Filler made a couple of highlight reel shots during the finals of the 2023 Wisconsin Open. A long straight in stop shot from near the rail and a full table force follow also from off the rail. Paul Song untied one game oh, apiece. Oh, stop oh, it, Lord. please. Just kidding. I'm going to reproduce both shots after we take a look at Joshua's technique and see what we can learn. The young guns of today continue to impress with their straight shooting. Each has a unique style, but if you study them closely, you'll notice that their shot routine includes some critical steps that aid their straight shooting. Every shot routine has four basic components. The pre-shot routine, shot entry, warm-ups, and stroke delivery. Today, we'll look at just eight steps from a typical shot routine. Visualization and aiming, lead with the forward foot, practice alignment, pause at address, warm-ups, pause before delivery, quality delivery, and freeze. Filler's shot routine begins by bending over to sight just how straight the shot is and pick his precise aiming point. He then stands upright at the back of the stance and visualizes the shot, often while stroking the cue stick. The shot entry is a two-step, starting with the rear foot with the toes inside the shot line. Rear foot one, forward foot two. The entire stance and alignment is built on the rear foot position. I call it practiced alignment because of the time it can take to learn to consistently align the rear foot, grip hand, elbow, shoulder, head, and bridge. This foundation is what leads to building trust that your cue delivery will be perfectly straight every time. Next, Filler addresses the cue ball, meaning he precisely locates his cue tip where he intends to strike the cue ball. No warm-up strokes yet. Notice it's here that he raises the butt of the cue in order to stop the cue ball, and only then do we see some warm-up strokes. Those warm-up strokes are only to gauge the speed of stroke and check straightness. All aiming was complete long ago. When ready to shoot, Filler's cue stops at cue ball address, and then watch his eyes. He was looking at the cue ball the entire time. One last check of the object ball, and then I believe he looks back to the cue ball. I've talked about the importance of this pause before delivery and the quiet eye in previous videos. At this point, steps seven and eight work together. Everything is frozen except the forearm, which draws back slowly and then releases with a hand-to-chest motion exhibiting almost no elbow drop. Played back even slower, you can see his cue tip deflect to the side on contact with the cue ball, but returns to the shot line due to his straight delivery. Notice that Filler's cue tip finishes down and holds in place, frozen with the rest of his body. I've seen him stay frozen much longer on many shots, but he is a fast player, and so he rises up quickly in this instance. Once more in real time, watch how confidently he executes all eight steps. Long straight in shot, he wants to stop it. He's, he's elevating the cue so he can stop the ball. He does this as well as anyone. Oh. Okay, keeping those eight steps in mind, how did I do? I missed the first shot, but I make my second attempt. Leave your comments in the comment section. Filler's second highlight shot is even more impressive. The camera angle isn't the best, but make note of the eight steps once again, except this time he keeps a level cue. Or to make that five ball cueing over the six. As Joshua lines up the six ball. Martinez and Paul Song are tied one oh, game apiece. Oh, stop oh, it, Lord. please. Just kidding. And here's the cue delivery in slow motion. I have to admit, I missed this one a few times before this miss and then a make.
Leave your comments and let me know in the comment section if you think I missed a key component of what makes Filler such a straight shooter.